Good morning, everybody. I'm Frida Stauffer. It turns out our family has COVID. <laughs> That's what's happening. That's what is wrong with us. That was probably the reason for the brain fog and fatigue and and now the um, sneezing and coughing. So it lasts about a week and then the kids got better, but I've had mine longer than a week, I think. So, um, always takes me longer. It's just how it is, but we got our diagnosis yesterday. Finally. I'm out because I had to drop someone off at school and I had to pump some gas. And uh, later I have to take my daughter to the barn for riding, I hope. If I, if I can, <laughs> I have to pick her up from school anyway. But um, she'd be mad if I didn't take her to the barn. I might stay in the car. I don't know yet. <laughs> it's a nice morning. Lately, the mornings have been in the 60s and that's very, very a big break from what it had been earlier. And it's, it's nice to go out in the morning in the garden in the sunshine. Even if I'm a little sick, the sunshine is um, is medicine. So I plan to go out in a, for a minute when I go home, even if I only sit in a chair. Probably gonna water some. I'm going out to the garden. I had to repot this rubber plant yesterday. That rubber plant was very short when I first bought it. And it's gotten really tall. It likes the, it likes the um, grow lights. It liked the grow lights. The grow lights helped it jump. And he needs a, some support now that he's taller. I'm thinking of taking a cutting and uh, seeing if I can start a cutting because it's so tall and if I uh, took a cutting then it would be shorter and it could uh, branch out. So I'm going to read a little about propagating rubber plants and see if I can do it. Now it's time to water the garden. <coughs> <coughs> yes, I did get the cold the kids had, but I don't know. I think watering the garden is good for me. It's fresh air. Yeah. Oh, a tomato is is ripening down there. This tomato plant came up volunteer. So whatever tomato I get is a bonus. <laughs> I have so much uh, basil. I'm thinking of making some, um, what is that stuff called? Um, pes pesto, yeah. I'd like to make some pesto. I think this plant might need to go, this purple one might need to go under the trees because maybe it doesn't like that much sunshine. Not sure. I brought my spider plants out here and they seem to perk up. I put them down on the lower level. And that golden pot will just really uh, got a long vine at this time. 
<laughs> that little rose bloomed and now it's uh, not blooming so I don't know that plant that rose bush almost died a couple of times I think you might I might give it some fertilizer again soon my uh, lemons trees down there I need to repot them their pots are getting they're outgrowing their pots I had a yellow yarrow here. I think it died. See, I put broken dishes in the garden to keep the cats from burnt uh, digging here. It's okay. I don't want the cats digging here and they uh, don't like broken glass. These are my eggplants. They're finally growing. Um, they were having a hard time getting started. And then the, the See those those beetles? I keep picking them off and putting them in in a uh, water in the water bucket because uh, they eat them. And there's another one down there. I'll be picking those off because uh, I want I don't want them to eat my plants to death. I can't wait to eat eggplant from my garden. I struggle every year with uh, these beetles here at this location. I talked to other people and they said they didn't have any trouble with potato bugs eating their uh, eggplants. So I think it's just the location where I'm at for some reason. They like this spot and they eat what's here. That one died. I don't know what happened to it. It was a bird nest uh, fern. I don't know if it will ever grow back or not. But I brought it outside so it can get fresh air and rainwater and of course I have to water it from the faucet sometimes. That um Calathea was doing really well, and then I repotted it, and it threw a tantrum. So I put her out here in the back uh, of the secret garden, and she's, uh, I don't know, she's not dead yet, so I'm hoping she can uh, get over her tantrum. She is uh, very, uh, what is it called when... Uh, I guess reactive. <laughs> She's very reactive. And back here I have these ferns. They finally got healthy after I hung them out here. I was so tired of struggling with my ferns that I just hung them out here and I I uh, talked to them and I said, now you do what you want to do back here. You want to die, die. If you want to live, live. <laughs> and they lived and got healthy and bushed out and, and I... And even that little prayer plant right there, that little prayer plant also bushed out, so. I got a rabbit foot fern. I have, uh, I forgot what that fern was down there. And I have this Boston fern here and the prayer plant. So I'm thinking of putting that purple plant down here in the middle of this uh, swing frame because it needs uh maybe it might might not like so much sun that where i put it it's too much sun for it <laughs>